Hello everyone, I'm Tanushi Chatterjee. Today we are going to cover the topic natural vegetation and wildlife. We all know our country India is rich and it is very biodiverse. We have about 47,000 plant species, 15,000 flowering plants and 89,000 species of animals. Natural vegetation as a term refers to a plant community which has grown naturally without human aid and has been left undisturbed by humans for a long time. The species that are grown in India are known as endemic or indigenous species and the species grown outside India are known as exotic species. All the plants of a particular region or period is, are known as flora and all the animals of a particular region of period are known as fauna. Which are the factors which are responsible for diversity in flora and fauna kingdom? There are two kinds of factors, relief factors and climate factors. Relief factors are land and soil. In mountainous plateau and plain, the vegetation is different. Plain area is used for agriculture, grassland and woodland. Develop over mountainous areas and give shelter to variety of wildlife. Soil provides basis for growth of different types of vegetation. Sandy soils provide growth of cactus and thorns. Delta-like soils support mangrove vegetation. The second factor is climate, that is temperature. The character and extent of vegetation in an area is dependent upon temperature along with humidity and precipitation in an area. On the basis of vegetation, it is divided in the following zone tropical, subtropical, temperate, and alpine, and the temperatures are accordingly. The next climate factor is photoperiod. It is the effect of sunlight on the, on the growth and development of plant life. Duration of sunlight is different due to latitude, altitude, season, and duration of a day. Due to longer duration of sunlight, trees grow faster in summer. Precipitation. Maximum rainfall in India is received from monsoons, advancing monsoon and retreating monsoon. Area having high rainfall have dense vegetation. What is the importance of forest? Forest help in modifying climate. They control soil erosion, provide livelihood for many species and communities. They provide scenic view for recreation and support tourism support for various industries and of course they provide medicinal herbs what does the term ecosystem mean an ecosystem is a system in which includes all living organisms biotic in an area as well as its physical environment abiotic functioning together as a unit what is biome a very large ecosystem on land having distinct type of vegetation and animal life Human beings are an important part of ecosystem. They utilize the vegetation and wildlife. Their greed has led to overutilization of resources, have led to cutting of trees, hunting of animals to such an extent that they have reached to the verge of extinction. What are the various types of vegetation that we are going to cover today? Tropical evergreen forests, tropical deciduous forest, tropical thorn forest, montane forest, and mangrove forest. Tropical evergreen forest. Found in the areas of having rainfall more than 200 centimeters, found in western slopes of Western Ghat, northeastern states, Andaman Nicobar Islands, and Lakshadweep Islands. The trees are of height of 50 meters. Since the region is warm and wet throughout the year, it has luxuriant variation throughout the year. There is time limit for trees to shed their leaves, therefore they remain green all around the year. The major trees found here are ebony, mahogany, rosewood, rubber, chinchona. Animals found here are like elephants, monkeys, deer, one-horned rhinoceros. The next kind of forest that we are going to see is tropical deciduous forest. These are also called as monsoon forests. They are found in areas receiving 70 to 200 centimeters of rainfall. They shed their leaves in the beginning of summer season. They are about 30 to 45 meters tall. 
lion tiger deer elephant and a variety of birds and lizards are seen in this kind of planet now depending on the amount of rainfall the uh, forests are divided into two types moist deciduous forest and dry deciduous forest the moist deciduous forests uh, receive rainfall 100 to 200 cm they are at the foothills of himalaya jharkhand orissa teak bamboo sal shisham are some of the common trees found in the moist deciduous forest about 70 to 100 cm of rainfall is received by dry deciduous forest the rainier parts of peninsular plateau plains of bihar and uttar pradesh are the places where you can see the dry deciduous forest teak sal people neem are the common trees found over there the third kind the tropical thorn forest or the scrubs they are found in areas which receive rainfall less than 50 cm gujarat rajasthan northwestern part of punjab parts of madhya pradesh are the common areas where you can find such forest acacias palm cacti kikar are the common plants over there trees have long roots which get penetrated in the soil in order to get moisture leaves are thick and small in size the common animals are rats tiger lions horses and camel the next kind of forest is the montane forest these forests are found in mountainous areas generally in areas of jammu kashmir uttarakhand arunachal pradesh decrease in temperature with corresponding change in vegetation as the temperature decreases the kind of uh, vegetation also changes in the te wet temperate forest the trees found are oak and chestnut in the southern slopes of himalayas you can find pine deodar silver fir in alpine vegetation you can find silver fir and pines the common animals here are kashmiri stag spotted deer jack rabbit yak and squirrels the last kind of forest that we are going to see are the mangrove forest they are also called as tidal forest as they are influenced by tides dense roots submerged under water deltas of mahanadi krishna godavari brahmaputra is covered with this type of vegetation in ganga brahmaputra delta sundari trees are found which provide durable timber palm and coconut trees are grown over here the common animals found are royal bengal tiger crocodiles and snakes there are various medicinal plants also in our natural vegetation india is rich in its herbs and spices the commonly used plants here are sarpagandha jamun arjun neem tulsi and kachnar with their respective uh, medicinal uses india is rich in fauna 1200 species of birds 2500 species of fish 89000 animal species so all the animal species they are specified to a particular region like elephants are found in kerala assam karnataka one horned rhinoceros found in assam and west bengal wild ass camels found in run of kutch rajasthan Asiatic lions found in Gir forest Gujarat tigers found in Madhya Pradesh Sundarban and Himalayas yak Tibetan antelope found in Ladakh why is there a need to conserve the wildlife why do we need to conserve the wildlife animals provide a transportation meat and egg fish provide us nutritive value insects help in pollination of crops and fruit trees plant species provide food to animals and humans thus every species play an important role in the ecosystem what are the reasons for the extinction of animal and plant species rapid increase in exploitation of forest resources due to industrial advancement clearing of forest land for agriculture human settlements etc hunting of animals for their skin and other things pollution due to chemical and industrial waste grazing by domestic cattle caused adverse effect on wildlife and its habitat now what are the measures taken by the government to conserve the wildlife biosphere reserves have been set up in the country to protect the flora and fauna these are the biosphere reserves and the state in which they belong for example nilgiris in kerala simplipal in orissa kanchenjunga in sikkim norkrek in meghalaya and so on financial assistance is provided to various botanical gardens for their development project tiger project rhino and many other developmental projects have been started to conserve the endangered wildlife 
89 national parks for 90 wildlife sanctuaries are set up to take care of the natural heritage. That is all from this chapter of natural vegetation and wildlife. Thank you.